We're coming to you from AQS Quilt Week at the Fall Paducah Quilt Show. And I'm here with Barbara Oder from Fort Morgan, Colorado. Mm -hmm. And you won first place in the Large Quilts Quilter's Choice category. And that's sponsored by Statler by Gamel. What a beautiful quilt. And so first of all, I asked you just a few minutes ago, have you ever entered before? No, I have not. This is my first show. So for those of you who think your quilts aren't good enough to enter AQS, we have testimony right here, That's don't correct. we? That's correct. Well, yeah. let's talk about your beautiful quilt. Okay. First of all, you've used reproduction fabrics, Civil yes, War I type have. fabrics. Right. Yes, and do you collect those? Uh, yeah, I have way too many at home, <laughs> okay. as all of us do, I'm sure. All right, in fact, I just heard your daughter say, we missed a, we missed a booth that had those. I That's bet you'll right. be going yeah, back. Yeah, we'll be going back. <laughs> well, tell me how you constructed this quilt, because it has lots of beautiful borders on it. Well, the first thing I did was Harriet Hargrave, when she had her shop in Denver, had Karen Stiles as a, a guest and an instructor. So I went up, and this is her her pattern, Karen Stiles' pattern, and so we kind of worked on this centerpiece that first workshop, and she taught us how to do the little hexes. They're three eighths inch hexes, mm -hmm. and I think there are 48 flowers on the quilt. And so those are English paper pieced. Those are English paper pieced. This center medallion is uh, hand pieced, and part of it was done with templates and and uh, so on. Uh, then of course piecing and applique and. And the clamshells are all ones that are um, English paper pieced as well. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of a two year project, but it was certainly fun to do. And then you've used a beautiful border print for this yes. border and your outer border. And you also have done, this would be applique here, right? Yes, that, yes. that center medallion is applique onto mm -hmm. the, the center block. Well, so this was a good study in just putting together a lot of techniques in one it quilt, was. wasn't it? It was. Yes. And, and my quilter, Valerie Campbell, did a wonderful job on it. Um, you can't see it so much on, the, on this, but she went around each one of these freehand twice on the outer border or the outer line and around the, oh, the yes, solid. Yes, I see yeah. that. And this okay. quilting in here really just makes your applique even more lovely. Oh yeah, it just really sets it off. You know, and, and she, she went around each one of the flowers and all around the vine and I was just awestruck when I saw it when I got it back. Well, and that's something that a lot of times people don't do. They need to make sure they stitch in the ditch to be able to make the vine pop, the leaves pop, the flowers pop, Absolutely. stitching around the center of the flower that makes mm -hmm. that part of it pop. Uh, it makes a huge difference in the final outcome, yeah. doesn't it? It does. She didn't tell me, but I think it was on her machine for at least five weeks. Five weeks to yeah. quilt it. Yeah. Well, it's so. a beautiful quilt, and thank you so much for entering for your yeah. very first time. Thank you. And I'm just thrilled that you won a blue ribbon. Yeah. And now we I am too. Now we <laughs> expect to see another quilt from you in a couple of years. Well, might. Okay. You never know. All right. Okay. Well, congratulations. Thank you. And we hope that you will both enter your quilts and join us at an AQS Quilt Week soon.